All right, people, welcome back. Total OS today is Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. Well, if you are not a beginner, you probably already know this, that when it comes to the Ubuntu family of Linux-based operating systems, it is that time of year again. Every October, around this time, and about every, also every March, uh, no, not March, sorry, uh, every April, uh, March is my birthday. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's pass the law where every March they have to release all the flavors of Ubuntu for TOS today. No, but for October, this month, of course, we have many new releases including Lubuntu, Ubuntu, and Zubuntu, Kubuntu, and really the list goes on and on and on. But I, I took a look at these three here briefly and even Kubuntu, and I really didn't see anything here that I could say, wow, let me just go ahead and, you know, take my time to look at these, more like waste my time. However, however, that being said, Kubuntu, there is a preview of the next KDE desktop, or Plasma 5. Now, this has not been finalized. There are still bugs, but you can download this and test it. Now, I did, and I really, really liked what I saw. If you prefer the stable version of Plasma 4 with Kubuntu, you can definitely choose that also. But if you wanted to test this, which I am, do not install this in your everyday production machine, definitely take a look at the Plasma 5. So let us take a look at the Plasma 5. The login screen is improved. It looks a little nicer. Now I'm running this inside a virtual machine. As I stated, I will not be uh, running this as a full install. Let's go ahead and go to uh, change the screen size here. I haven't installed this. I don't have the uh, VirtualBox guest edition, so we'll go semi full screen as it were. All right, this is the default desktop here. I won't go through all the technicalities of this, but let me just say as opposed to Plasma 4 versus Plasma 5, this looks well, some of the words that come to mind are cleaner, visually appealing, um, fresher looking. Uh, as a Windows user, I like Plasma 5 better. So far, it's not finalized, but I like this better than Plasma 4. And of course, you have the usual you know, shortcuts here. You can change the height of this. Now, this is going to run a little bit slow in VirtualBox. That's to be expected, but that's okay. So, oh, let's go ahead and leave it there, I suppose. All right, of course, you can right-click. Widgets, they have changed a wee bit. Before, the widgets would show up here at the bottom horizontally. Now they are vertical. Um, besides how they look, um, I think I prefer the vertical option versus the horizontal. And of course, you can search here. There aren't a lot yet. One thing I noticed is missing here is a weather widget. However, again, this is new, so I expect by this time next year we should have a fully functioning um, Plasma 5 desktop. All right, let's go to the start menu or the K launcher, as it were. All right, this also looks better, more polished, favorites, applications computer recently used and leave now you can change the look of this also if you right click alternatives from application launcher to menu launcher if you prefer that and I'll show you here in a moment how this looks alright I believe it just switched and you'll probably like this more if you have been used to Windows XP, Windows 7, Vista. This may be more towards your liking. System, uh, system settings, rather similar to the control panel in Windows. Again, very clean looking. Of course, once this has a final release uh, next year, I would think you can highly customize the look and feel of this. But so far, I must say the look and feel is very, very nice. Let's take a quick look at the um, 
RAM usage. Now I gave this 1.5 gigs and it's using 325 megabytes. Not bad at all. Of course I'm not running much on it so far, but really not bad at all. And you have the rest of the software here. Utilities, system, so on and so forth. I won't go through all of this. Let's take a quick look at multimedia. Uh, Amarok. Dragon Player. I think VLC should be installed by default in all Linux-based operating systems, in my personal opinion. Alright, well that's been a quick look at the KDE Plasma 5 in Kubuntu 14.10. Keep in mind this is still new, it will have bugs. I took a quick look at the installation process. If you are a beginner, this should have a fully functional I would hope automatic installer so you don't have to do any kind of manual or custom partitioning. It's definitely worth taking a look at. If you prefer the stable version, don't even look at this. Go to the 14.04 uh, LTS versus the Kubuntu 14.10. I think you will have better luck with that. All right, finally, the latest poll is up. You can still vote. Do you prefer desktops, laptops, or tablets? What do we have so far? And no surprise, most of you still prefer desktops. Of course, I'm recording this with my desktop. I use all of these, including my cell phone. My cell phone I use almost every day to check on, you know, news items, news alerts, your messages briefly, and, you know, so on and so forth. My latest recommendations for Linux printers, or printers for Linux, and the Windows too, I suppose. Lexmark is here. Take a look at these. HP, Epson. You should have pretty good luck if you choose any one of these. And also, thank you for some of your recommendations when it comes to printers for Linux. All right, well, that's it for this one. I am thinking about doing another live event uh, next Sunday, um, hmm, which would be already November 2nd. Wow, all right, see, it's almost the holidays already, my goodness. All right, we'll keep on the lookout for that announcement. Uh, please consider uh, donating and supporting this channel to keep up, to keep maintaining this channel and the live events. Right now, I'm doing about one a month. I would love to do more with your support and permission, of course. This channel is for you guys as well as for myself. I thoroughly enjoy doing the live events. All right, well, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in your Linux future.